Welcome. You know how sometimes you only ready to do some really, really scary things only on Halloween night, like going to an abandoned graveyard or checking out a haunted house. Well, today we're gonna do something equally scary. We will upgrade our Maltic 2 to Maltic 4 straight. Stay with me. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do something super scary here. Uh, since this is the, the Halloween edition, we're gonna upgrade a 2.16 to Moric into a 4.01 and just like one run just like that and you will find all the commands are in the blog post belonging to this uh, video as well so let's get uh, started and I'm gonna start with uh, running the migrations so that's pretty important let's move this guy here actually here uh, because this will make sure that later we're gonna be able to upgrade from 3 till 4 although this system is really old it's like two years old so um, I'm super curious how it's gonna work that's okay if you have some uh, empty migrations there's absolutely no problem with that let's force the scheme update and hopefully we're gonna have okay we have nine queries that's great let's clear the cache and start um, start with pushing uh, Modic into Modic 3 now the thing is I have some special plugins here in the system which I will have to remove in order to be able to uh, push to Modic 3 otherwise it will fail Okay, this is probably happening for you longer. I just cut out this part um, because I don't want you to wait around. So yeah, we are in the right folder, but let's look for um, our modic. So it's gonna push us to 2.16.5. Okay, it's gonna go for that version and then the next step since two we're gonna be at that time at 2.16.5 from there we need to move to three point whatever something uh, we get some errors that certain languages cannot be updated don't worry about that now here comes the next part we need to um, install uh, PHP 7.3 I believe we have 7.1 but in just one moment I'm gonna check that Let's do some updates and let's do PHP 7.3 if it's not available. Let's wait for the updates. I'm just going to skip this. Okay. Cool. Now let's see what PHP version we are. PHP minus V. Right now we are on 7.1. So let's move further to uh, 7.3. I think we upgraded everything very nice now we need to install the extensions for PHP and here I was running into issues before because one of the extensions didn't work like it's supposed to anymore so I'm gonna take that one out and let's hope that so let's hope that we can do the install anyway um, the thing is that the dev package somehow was discontinued or changed and you cannot um, just install it here anymore on Ubuntu 18 uh, and it takes a lots of workarounds so I'm just gonna skip it 
we're not going to use it in production anyway because from here once we upgrade to 3. Point something we're going to right away go to 4.01 so we will essentially never use it in this 7.3 php version we're going to move ahead to 7.4 uh, this is just like an intermediate step because modic 3 does not support 7.4 you have to do it with 7.3 but modic 4 does not support 7.3 anymore you have to upgrade to 7.4 so you have to keep the version always aligned with the, the modic version, with the PHP version, uh, when you do the upgrades. And this is especially scary because during this, many things can really go wrong. So let's set uh, the uh, short open tag. We need to set it to on. Um, I don't really need to set uh, the upload max limits and stuff but I, I said it anyway just I don't want that my install fails because I didn't do the proper uh, settings cool now um, so we are right now on PHP version uh, 7.3 but we actually not using it so we're gonna make sure that we use it and we're gonna remove 7.1 and we restart Apache and we are a happy person. Now we have to remove the MySQL database as well which is gonna take a little bit of time so let's do that as next step simply remove it. I already made backups before I started this whole thing and turned off the clone jobs that is super important. So now we're gonna add the alternative repository Okay, and let's add it to the list. So these are the two dubs. This is gonna make sure that we have access to this Mario update version. So when we do the apt update, then it's gonna notice that hey, there is a version of uh, SQL which I would like to uh, run. So let's install that. We almost there we almost there that we can start updating. Okay, so we are in a good shape. Let's clear it. And let's go with the second part where we are gonna do the update itself. Okay, so let's continue where we left off. We're gonna um, uh, do the actual uh, updates. So let's go back to our mic folder and uh, try to find another uh, update version. Right away telling us we have 3.2.4, but we are not ready. So what we have to do, we actually have to remove some stuff here from the, uh, from the, um, plugins and I like to move them out for now. So I have here four plugins that I installed before, the got it, uh, cache cleaner, the advanced templates bundle, the recapture and the SMS reader. We need to remove them all. I actually just moved them out for now uh, from the from that folder because they would interfere with our, with our uh, update. Once I did it, there's one more thing I have to do. I have to remove, oops, sorry. Uh, I have to remove my um, composer because the update will fail if I try to keep the composer there because this is not a composer update. So let's do modic 3 update and we say yes. This is the moment of truth. Hopefully it will beautifully update everything. If you tell us, hey, you are almost there, you need to run this command one more time. If everything is fine. Ah, and that happened. Very good. So what I usually do here, I usually uh, show one more time the whole folder and make sure that the permissions are okay. And then I run it one more time. So it says everything is fine. You are about to move to Modic 3. 
you just have to uh, wait a moment with the migrations probably it's going to do like 14 migrations that's how much it's between these two versions and then we own Mautic 3 and then from there we are just one step away from Mautic 4 okay really cool do you want to remove the files yes we don't care about the update files very nice so we are on Mautic 3 very cool let's log in here and see if it really uh, updated so let's refresh this okay it's modic we are on 3.2.4 very cool so why stop here let's move to the next uh, level and uh, try to uh, update uh, to 4.01 In order to do this, well, we have to jump again one version uh, on a PHP. So from 7.3, where we just freshly installed, we right away move on to 7.4. This is gonna take a moment. And the same way, after installing all these uh, dependencies, we're gonna add uh, some changes to the PHP in the file to accommodate our modic with really cool settings, which is gonna make it run uh, fast and efficient okay so let's check and allow for our f open on short Open tags are on memory. I usually work with 512, just gives such a lot better reliability, especially when the client is trying to uh, open emails. Uh, the max file size is up to you. Max maximum execution time. So this is also up to you. I usually set it to 300. But if I notice that something is unstable with my instance, then I would load it. This one here, PostMax size, is your asset upload. Um, so that's why you need it. Okay, so let's move ahead. PHP 4. Let's forget PHP 3, 7.3. And let's restart the upper cheese. So what do we have here? Super VR 7.4. Great. Okay. So now we're gonna go back to our modic folder and we are going to find a new modic version just to be on the safe side one more time ownerships like as you see i'm running everything as root so i have to make sure that www data is the one which owns these uh commands i mean files so let's look for a new version it's telling us that hey there is a new version found uh 4.01 this here is probably wrong but 4.01 is what really matters to us so that's that's the latest one at the point when i'm making this video so let's do an apply update yes and this is supposed to be a lot smoother than the ones before because there has been tremendous um uh, stability fixes between three point something and four point something on modic Okay, it's telling us that we should uh, finish it up. So, but before we do that, I'm going to show it one more time. I know it's stupid and you might think it's not necessary, but I've done over 50 updates already. And seriously, sometimes that was only the difference between success and a grown man crying. Okay, so we have some errors. Honestly, that's okay. Let's run it one more time. Sometimes these errors are happening with the well, database errors happening because the migration is failing. Well, you just run it one more time and it will actually not fail. Um, 
so we are all good so let's see if we successfully upgrade it let's clear this and check the page so i'm just gonna reload this oh look at that 4.0.1 and i have the tag manager and i have everything so a couple of things what i have to do of course i have to uh, check my templates if they're fine and i also have to um make sure that i'm using the grape.js builder so let's do that let's go back to plugins let's reload the plugins okay two new plugins so the tag manager and the grape.js builder so let's turn that on really cool sometimes you have to log in and log out don't ask me why but it is what it is um, now if I go to channels emails do I see the new stuff already yes I do and these should be the new templates uh, which are compatible with MGML and you can see that by coming here to themes and checking are there any which have two uh, possible email editors if there is two then you have the right format so you can actually edit your emails so that's it it was super scary Thank you for staying here with me and please update your old versions. See you next time.